There's some people that didn't deserve that. A local family's plea tonight to prevent anyone else from losing their life. First to 10, the man DPS troopers say was street racing in Williamson County and caused a crash that killed a woman and sent her husband to the hospital, is in jail tonight more than three months later. This man, 23-year-old Hernan Abel Martinez Jr., faces multiple charges that carry a prison sentence of up to 20 years. KXAN's Brittany Glass sat down with the victim's family for an exclusive interview. They spoke about the racing trend they hope to reverse. Yeah, she was always, always a beautiful woman. Memories of a lifetime across the kitchen counter. That's what's left. Pam Waters says her parents had the ultimate love story. So this is November 8th, 1974. Although Joan and Robert Cheney were married for more than 40 years, Waters says their lives were cut short on December 14th. They were almost home, about ready to make some dinner, and one selfish decision ended it all. Her mother died instantly. I try to feel good knowing she didn't hurt. You know, after the accident, you're dealing with um, the loss of one. Just weeks later, and then my dad dies. I think he ultimately died of a broken heart. They loved each other so much that they were not going to be separated by this for very long. Since the accident, I see people driving fast. And it just brings it all back up. Waters has shifted her focus. I don't want it happening to other people. It's happened way too often lately. And Round Rock police confirm street racing is on the rise. Well, we are seeing uh, more of the, the tragedies that come out of the racing incidents. A separate tragedy happened just six weeks before the Cheney's crash. Tyrone and Cheyenne Price were killed. Close to where we're standing, a, a father and his daughter lost their life just uh, walking on the sidewalk as a result of a racing-related accident. Waters says she wants these stories to be a warning to drivers. Racing is a choice. He didn't accidentally push down the gas pedal. He purposely raced another car. And there's time and place for everything, and it's not on our highways. It's, it just should not be tolerated. She's calling for Texas to uphold the greatest penalties of the law as she continues waiting for justice. But he's going to have his day in court. He, he needs to pay for what he did. Until then. At the end of the day, we have a lot of good memories. They were wonderful people. Brittany Glass, KXAN News. At last report, it is not clear who Martinez allegedly was racing that night. No one else has been arrested in connection with the crash. The family says they hope that driver will come forward. We want to know what the punishments for racing are in Texas. We learned it is a Class B misdemeanor. That means if you're convicted of racing, you could face up to six months in jail and a $2,000 fine. If someone is seriously hurt or killed as a result of that racing, it's a felony and could mean up to 20 years in prison and up to a $10,000 fine. And you could face a civil lawsuit if anyone is hurt or killed. Finally, if you are convicted of racing, your driver's license is automatically suspended for at least one year.